Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Sunday. Well get your coffee. We're going to start stitching or your, or your beverage. Hey, you can drink whatever you want. Today mine is coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah. So as you can see, I have a different pattern in front of me. You betcha. This is out of the Sewing Club by um, Blackbird Design. I just love this book. Yeah, I, I just want to stitch all the things. Yeah. So today we're going to start this. And I don't have a color that's like that. But, you know, we're just going to go with it. Okay? So I am using 14 count. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it was. It's called Tiny Tree Tops rose or thyme and um it does have the call for um dmc colors but i picked my own and we're gonna see how this works but i do have 14 count and this is country country french cafe i think it's cafe latte or country french latte it's the one by winchlet it's the lighter one of the the two or three excuse me boy I'm just getting it all wrong today aren't I so let's see what we got well I went through my colors and I picked colors and this is what I came up with some muted colors some kind of bright greens and a bright blue for the little bird just need a little blue. It called for a teal, but their teal didn't look like my teal, and I looked it up, and yeah. So this is what we came up with. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. And we have some colors, so we might as well just use them. Now I'm not, I started this part. Nine three two. It called for, uh, I have two of the called for colors, actually. That's uh, 221 is going to be the rosebuds, or the flowers, we'll call them. And this is the other green. So I picked this as a lighter green, so we'll see how it works out. And if I don't like it, we can frog it, right? Frogging is not our friend this week, so we're just going to try. So what is everybody up to? I hope everybody is having a great weekend. I gotta fold my paper, of course, because a quarter of the pattern is right here on that same side of that page. That's why I only showed you part of it. But yeah, I've loved, 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 loved this pattern. So we're gonna see, make sure we're do, using the same thing. I don't know, this is kind of a light colored green. But we're going with it, and I'm using two threads. I just happen to have this little piece of fabric, and it's not a very big pattern at all. It's like 208 by, oh, hang on, turning by 83. So it's not very big at all, and they have made it either into a drum or into a... Uh, just a little picture or you could make it into a little pillow so we'll see how how well it goes but uh, I'm gonna try to work up this side I started in the lower left hand corner sometimes I like to start at the top it just depends what um, what's going on with it and how it looks to me is where kind of what decides where I start so we're just going to start down here. Hopefully this green. It looks darker on camera, but it, it's not quite that that dark at all. But this is kind of a chartreuse, if you will. I don't know. It's kind of a yellow green. But I thought, it, thought it'd make it look kind of pretty. And I picked colors that, oh, I thought would go, you know, well with this so 
Oh yeah, that it, it's been a special morning. Yeah, I went running around looking for all this stuff, copying the pattern, doing all the things, and then I went to go and video, and my phone was about dead. So then I had to sit there and wait for it to get charged up. So here we are. I think that green's going to be okay, don't you? I guess we'll see once that, uh, what do you call it? I start to put the little butterflies or moths or whatever they are on the side. This is just such a, a gorgeous little pattern. Just absolutely gorgeous. But I love this book. This book was one of the best investments I've made of the year. Between that and the, the I don't know what it's called, Home for the Holidays, maybe? The one that has the Christmas garden in it. It has so many things that I would just like to stitch. Oh, Molly says hi. Get down. It's just the neighbors. Get down. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I let her out, and she barks everywhere. And Yeah. It, it's, like, great. Okay, come on. We're going back inside. <sighs> I got to go into town a little bit later and get things together. Sorry if you can hear my coffee pot. I ran out of coffee. Had to have some more coffee because I don't exist without coffee. You know, I, a long time ago I used to drink. Back when I was married the first or second time. I would drink Pepsi. Or I would drink Coke. And I would buy six packs or eight packs of stuff. I don't even do that anymore. Yeah, you know, 40 years later. Um, the only time I drink Coke or... It's usually Coke. I, I'm not a Pepsi fan anymore. I grew up on Pepsi, but... Ouch. 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 Oh. Mm. Kink in my shoulder. Kink in my shoulder. So, um, yeah. We don't do that anymore. Just, and at work, I can, I drink, uh, what do you call it? Sprite? Because I figure that's seven or eight hours that I can be off of caffeine. Because it's caffeine free. And there was a couple little things I'd already sewed on this. I had to go through and frog them out to start with. Is that a bad sign? Gosh, I hope not. Because I really like to do this. And I'd like to do that... Uh, one by Blackbird with the great big cardinal in it. I think it's so pretty. Um, I think Nisi Lynn did that and finished it. It was just beautiful. So, yeah, they've always got something for me to stitch. I could buy, like, four of their books and not buy another pattern from them. But, you know, they always come out with stuff that I just like to stitch. And they're easy to read patterns. I love that part. I just absolutely love that part. Had to see where I was at. I didn't want to get lost already. It doesn't take long with me. I'm telling you. So yesterday I worked on the gnome a little bit. I actually got a picture up, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you. I did that really late because I almost forgot. And I worked a little bit on, what do you call it? Pandemic. Didn't get a whole lot done, but, but hey, it is what it is. I think that color is going to be okay. Like I said, it looks darker in the thing, but we'll have to see once I get the, that there's two, there's, what do you call them? Moss. I call them butterflies. They kind of look like butterflies. Or they look like those real fancy moss. We don't have those here. Now, although we don't have them right here, and I don't know, I've never had bushes around, but when I lived in Denver, we had the great big gypsy moss. In, and I think we had like a mulberry bush or something. But that's the only place that I've ever seen those. 
and I've ne I didn't I don't even remember seeing any in uh, where was I Kansas or Missouri and we had mulberry we had mulberry trees we didn't have bushes now this bush that I had in Denver was um, kind of low you know short it was bushed out and the trees that I had mulberry trees in uh, what do you call it in Kansas they'd been there good gravy forever since dirt what can I say but they were really pretty and that was the only time I ever saw gypsy moths but these have two colors I believe and then the green ones up the middle like it's sitting on something this green so there's only two colors in the the moths here but I just decided I needed to have a start today I don't know what to tell you some days are like that I get sick of looking at everything I've got and just have to start something and I go through all my material and this wasn't my first choice but hey I had some uh, well I believe it was even weaver linen but it was a dark brown it would have looked really pretty too but you know I wasn't about the thinking thing I've got to get rid of this thread hang in there well that is if I can figure out where I need to stick the needle so yeah I worked a little bit on pandemic and I crocheted for a little bit until I said nope because you know what's gonna happen so I gotta pace myself get that serger over here surged part I just didn't want to overdo my shoulder because I gotta be able to make a video every day right that's how that that's how that goes and sometimes it my shoulders worse than others but I think it's just the crimp I put myself in you know and uh, I'm getting closer to being done with that crochet and stuff I've almost got it out of my system but hey it is what it is I like to do different things I, I came real close to getting ordering some more yarn I was thinking I could use one of my other patterns I made my uh, other granddaughters they are well I don't know what how old they were when I made them but um hang on we'll just bring you over a little bit more and bring you down so you can see what I'm doing um I made my other, my older granddaughters, shall we say, crocheted blankets. And they're still using them. So I went through that phase. You see it, it kind of comes and it kind of goes. So, and I don't know if I made them baby blankets or not. So, I think that I crocheted them instead but they're still using them so that's a good sign and then my 10 year old grandson he got a crocheted or not crocheted I made some kind of a quilt for him so and I had made started to make a, a baby blanket it, it's she's outgrown it now for the five-year-old back a long time ago out of what do you call those things yo-yos yeah yeah that didn't I got it all done and all ready to it's like what do you call it pinned together to be stitched down and life happened so yeah didn't get that finished it's in a plastic bag somewhere no complaints out of my daughter though so I thought maybe I could get some pink yarn since pink is her color everything in her world is pink my granddaughter that is not my daughter whoa she not a pink girl 
Um, her colors were red and black. So I crocheted a granny square one when I first got here. So I don't know that she uses it or she doesn't use it. But she uses the quilt that I made for her. And I made her another one. And uh, lined it with uh, fleece material. And I, at the time, was working for uh, people who had uh, traumatic brain injury. And uh, I would be there all night. So I pieced together an entire quilt while I was working for one of those guys. So, yeah. And then I uh, just happened to run into a deal. See, I could get to Emporia then, which was the biggest town, and uh, get, you know, a good size piece of uh, that fleece. And I just used it as the backing, and then I just tied it because... Heaven knows, I wasn't hand quilting it. It wasn't happening for me. So, and she was in a need of a blanket, so I just made it for her. But that didn't go too difficult or hard, and it was easy to do them in pieces, and then I just sewed the pieces together. And I hand sewed it all, except for, you know, the quilting part on the outside. Because my shoulder was already blown by then and was killing my wrists. But living in the Midwest and living in Colorado is two different things because of the humidity. I'm lost again. Five, right? So, yeah. I'm going to finish this part here. And then we're going to see if we can do one of the butterflies. Or, or moths or butterflies, whatever it is. We'll have to get our color out. Good gravy. And some days my eyes ain't the best. As you can see. And counting is so not me. I think we're going to get rid of this. We're ready to... We'll stitch one of the little butterflies things. So, yeah, I didn't do much yesterday. I mean, it was a better day than Friday. Because I didn't have to go to work. But, still. I don't know, I'm just totally tired. Okay, i got to get my color. Color, 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 please. Okay, it needs three six three oh six four. No. Well, good gravy. Three oh six four. That a pretty color. That's what I picked for sand. They picked nine fifty, but I picked this one. Oh goodness! And then I answered all my comments for the past two days. I sorry, I just can't get it together some days. And sometimes I can, you know, especially if I'm on home on the weekend, I can get them done, but. I don't know. When you got to work and think about other things, some days it just doesn't work. I can't make an intelligent response. Does that make sense? So hang in there, guys. We we can get them. Yeah, I was surprised at the progress I made on my little gnome. He he's coming along. 
he's a piece of work though you know you look at something and it looks like oh it's only got like four colors how bad could that be right not yeah especially when it's full of confetti where you didn't expect confetti okay so we gotta come to here and skip on I have to pay attention now so yeah come on I watched uh, Sambri Stitches today. She had uh, Mama Loves You GB on there that she was interviewing. It was quite interesting. I watched the whole thing. Sometimes I find it really interesting and sometimes I just can't get into it. But hey. Yeah, I think these colors are going to be fine. And if I wanted to, when I get this all done, I can tea dye it or whatever to add a little more character to it. But I just love this material, period. It's so easy to work with. And I've said that a thousand times, I'm sure. You're sick of hearing about it. But if you don't like stiff Ada... This is absolutely the way for me to go. This is my idea of a way to go. I'm trying to follow my pattern over here and, and stitching away. I've got to pay attention here. Yeah, it's a pretty color. And then the other color, it will be darker. And then up here... There's, we'll call it three on this side, and then this kind of goes all the way around, and all all the way around the top comes up the side, over this way, and down this way, and then there's just lines at the bottom. So, can't be too difficult. Yeah. So, I don't know if I'll do the, the whole thing, because you know I, I can't. I will try to do, like, a side, if I can. If and I can. But it's like it's like eating a Tootsie Pop. I'm telling you. I gotta just get to that middle part. For sure. But. Uh, yeah that's just the way I do things. Because I get bored. Working on it. But these little things. Aren't too difficult. I mean they. Like I said they've only got two colors. And I'm just working around the colors right now. So, we'll see. We will see. Okay, where do you... Got to do that again. But I haven't been watching too many movies on Netflix. I try not to get into one of those subtitled things, because then all I do is sit there and sit. And I do the, about the same thing with Grey's Anatomy. Okay, we came from there. Okay, got to do it one more time. And I'm all of a sudden, I'm just sitting there watching. And I know what's going to happen. You know, I, that's bad enough. But, oh well. Well, hopefully that turned out right where it was supposed to be. It's kind of a wide wing, isn't it? But I guess since it's 14 count, that makes sense. And I like the coverage of this 14 count. It's quite pretty. Okay, so now we're going to get the other color, because I learned a long time ago that if you got two colors side by side, and they're just going to stitch up now the next color is going to come right in here and stitch along that it's easier for me me to see sorry reaching for the scissors um easier for me to see what is going on and counting wise now you know laura could screw up come on be nice there 
All right, and the next color is 3722. I love this color. Isn't that beautiful? It's just a gorgeous, like, salmon-ish looking. I don't know. It's kind of a mauve, maybe. I don't know. It's got a little orange in it. Does that make sense? I don't know. It'll do just perfect for this. Got to get the little wrinkles out. It's been wound up there a while. I think I used the same color on another Blackburn, black, black bird. I think it was, it's the rose hips and ivy. And I don't know if their colors are consistent. I haven't done enough out of this book to know that they're using all the same colors. They called, oh, come on, please. Jeez. I'm using a 28 needle. It's a little tight. Some of them are tighter than others. I still haven't used my new bone needles. I should have gotten one of them out, but that didn't happen. Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting old. I'm telling you. Okay. So one, two, three. Guess I could. <coughs> we'll go up this way first. <coughs> Hush, please. Whoops. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake, I missed the hole. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll keep stitching on this today or just what I'll do. Should work on that gnome and start hacking away at it and getting it done. It's it's kind of stumping me. Does that make sense? It'll be okay. I wish I could figure out on my printer how to enlarge something. Now I know if I go to the library how to do that, but that's on a bigger scale. So I just wanted you to see these colors side by side. Pretty, pretty colors. And I like to see some of the shading And make sure I picked about the right colors. But I think it'll be pretty when it's done. You know, we say that about everything. We got one wing almost done here. I gotta go back. Because there was some more of that light pink right there. Hopefully we'll have enough thread. And inside, yes. One, two, three. I think we can get three more out of that. But at least you can see what half of it looks like. I don't even know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Oh my goodness. What to get out. Finally got the ham all cut up and put away. Jeez, that was a piece of work. I really don't feel like uh, chicken and noodles. Just seems kind of heavy. It's supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. And it's going to be 50-some degrees on Thanksgiving. So probably won't be any snow. And 
unless, you know, we get a surprise and life changes. Whoops. Let me see if this will work. There we go. Now you can see the colors. It's coming. All right, guys. I think that that is going to be about it today. But, uh, yep, it's coming along. What did I do with that book? Oh. And see, it looks pretty pale in the picture. And then next time we're going to use the darker color. So, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, they've just got a couple that are dark and the rest of them are all that the way this one is but it just kind of goes across the top and the bottom then we get to do alphabet oh yay I don't know which one I can't handle the most it's either what do you call it um alphabets or houses houses yeah I don't know I like the one in seeking refuge but yeah it's just a little pain in the butt to to stitch but I do like the way it's turning out so that's a good thing all right guys well I think that is going to be it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you will know when my next video comes out y'all have a good rest of your Sunday and a good rest of your weekend stay safe stay healthy wash your hands do all the things and we'll see you next time. God bless. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.